Jonah complained about forgiving the Ninevites. He was, he was really upset about it. But just like Jonah, we should know that our God is a loving God and a forgiving God. He is so loving and forgiving that he died and the cross so that he could pay for all. I'm a, I'm gonna, I really need to highlight that. All of our sins and forgiveness, and that's everybody, all of us. He paid the price for that. I want that to be shared to the point where someone will say, man, I want to be saved. Instead of being angry that God is willing to forgive people, like, like people we don't like, we should be focused on being grateful that God is so loving and forgiving because if he wasn't so loving and forgiving, we would be lost ourselves. We won't be here. How are we going to reach these people? We got to try. Can't be unwilling to deal with anybody. We got to be ready to deal with everybody. I was amazed at how Jesus dealt with everybody, y'all. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Even the ones that hated him. He taught us how to deal with them. It's amazing. He said, if they take their hand and hit you on one side of your cheek, he said, don't get riled up behind that. Don't give them the other cheek too. That means there are going to be people who dislike us. They're not for us. We all to not get rattled about what is going on with these people. Amen. Because of the power that God has given us to save. Oh my God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that God has given us to lay hands on the sick. And the Bible says they will recover. Come on, somebody. And if you drink any deadly thing, the Bible said it won't hurt you. I'm talking about the power. Amen. See, that's what the people are missing. They're missing the Holy Ghost power that is resonating down on the inside of you. Amen. That when you go around somebody that's needed, it's going to rise up. Amen. And it's going to cause people, amen, to be changed to be set free and to be healed in Jesus' name.